Hey guys, we are Ricky and Jasmine, and we are back with another video on Mount Cook, which we wish we had before our trip. We really want to get some amazing shots of Mount Cook, and we had to do a lot of research plus trial and error to get the perfect photos we wanted. In this video, we share where these photo locations are and how to get the perfect photos. You can also check our other South Island winter videos in the description box below or on our channel. Number 5 is Lake Matheson. You can get that perfect windows desktop photo of Mount Cook and its reflection Lake Matheson by standing on the far side of the lake and zooming in. It is an easy one and a half hour loop walk around the lake. However, it is not actually in Mount Cook National Park. It is located on the west coast, which means driving around a long way and it's only worth it if you're also wanting to do other activities in the area, like the Glacier Halley hike. Number 4 is Seely Tarns. Halfway up the mountain, you will be able to get a photo of Mueller Lake, Hooker Lake and Mount Cook. Unfortunately, the clouds were too low for us to get Mount Cook in the picture, but it is still breathtaking regardless. This hike is more of an intermediate level, mainly stairs, and can get a lot of snow higher up. So make sure to check the Avalanche Risk Board or the Visitor Centre and consider getting crampons. Number 3 is Peter's Lookout. This lookout is on the way to Mount Cook, perfect for a rest stop. From here, you will be able to get a zoomed in photo of Lake Pukaki, Mount Cook and the road on the cliff side. Number 2 is the road to Mount Cook. This location is just past Fred's Stream Bridge on Mount Cook Road. Right after crossing the bridge, there are driveways on either side to park temporarily. This is a very long stretch of road that is straight and faces Mount Cook and then curves at the end. Be very careful though, as the best photos will require you to stand on the road. Luckily there aren't many cars and you can normally see or hear them from a mile away, but always be on the lookout every few seconds. Make sure you stand further away from your subject and zoom in with your camera to make the road and your subject look bigger and closer in size to Mount Cook for a more grand effect. Our top location is Hooker Lake. This is one of the closest locations to Mount Cook and it's easily accessible by walking the popular Hooker Valley track, which takes 3 hours return. There are plenty of opportunities for photos along the track. It is a spot on Hooker Valley with Mount Cook in the background, which makes a good photo spot. Once you reach Hooker Lake, we recommend going right down to the lake for the best photos. Again, stand further away from your subject, get down low and zoom in. We hope you guys found this video useful for your next trip to Mount Cook. To support us, please subscribe to our channel. See you guys in the next video.